This particular area is really dangerous, scary. A lot of rough sleepers, rough uh, homeless people. It is really uh, dangerous to be here on your electric unicycle. Car is safe. So now we are approaching to a patch where I personally always been scared of coming at night. I only been here a couple of times and I think I'll have to hide my camera and put it in a stealth mode. It's late at night. It is cold today. It's like London like weather. A late night and we are on our adventure. I found someone. I found someone walking down. That was a lady. What is this lady doing in the dark, in a pitch black quiet? So this place we are going to right now is canal. Very, very scary canal, pitch dark. This canal is so dangerous. One of our EUC electric unicycle rider, in daytime got threatened by someone on the canal. They said, I'm gonna shoot you and kill you at daytime. So that is the canal we are going to. There's an underpass, pitch dark, street light is gone. These are really dangerous, like I said. If you get murdered, murdered here. Nobody gonna find your body for a good 24 hours or 12 hours minimum. Another one, again, pitch dark, no street light. To be honest, if there is nobody here, a little bit better because those uh, drug addict people, they are unpredictable. Wow, luckily nobody here again. Look at this graffiti on the on the walls. And another one. I can see there is someone in there. I hope he does not attack us because at this time of the night they're fully high. And there's another canal underpass. Wow, this one has people in it. Wow, this one is the most, most dangerous one so far. The most dangerous, most scary underpass of this midnight so far. Wow, I take my bad words back about the previous one. Wow, this one is the most dangerous so far. He's trying to play with me. Trying to play with me, dude. Popo just arrived. Okay, today we're gonna go to some of Phoenix most dangerous places on an electric unicycle. It's gonna be dark, it's gonna be scary, especially for me. Uh, but I do it because I two reasons I like it I like adventure and another reason for you guys so you can sit on your couch your chair in your bed and enjoy this scary video <laughs> these places are dangerous quiet dark so this is it this is the last bit where there will be some light from here it's gonna be really really dark This area is so dark, it's under the bridge, and at daytime I can dare to go down, but at night time, no, no way I can go down there. If I had some other rider with me, maybe I would have dared to go down. This path goes to under the bridge, and it ends there, and then dirt starts. So it's not like all the way this concrete uh, platform, not, not concrete surface. The dirt starts from under the bridge. So dark. Um, I got my own private sunlight with me, my very high powered torch, thousands and thousands of lumens. I'm gonna bump it up for here, here for a second to see if anybody is down there. Mm. 
<laughs> no, I'm not gonna dare to go down there. I'm gonna get out of here because I don't wanna be here longer than necessary. On our right hand side behind this wall, we have a highway. So it's, it's weird. If you look at it, on our left hand side, we are actually above city level city grand so we are actually higher than the city you can see all those houses with christmas lights we are above them so yeah look at this how quiet it is look at it man oh man i always feel like these bushes the bushes that are coming up ahead i always feel like there's someone behind them not ghost wise or spirit wise but like someone like maybe some homeless living there or their tent or their house oh man these bushes and this turn at dark man if i had no lights you would know how dark it is here from here some light starts if you get killed here if somebody murders you here i don't think even your body will be found until next day or even even that i don't know maybe for days so quiet so this is a video for you guys to enjoy we're gonna get to go to some of phoenix most dangerous underground places look at this place dark these uh, overpass footbridge these are known for homeless homeless people the most of the homeless people are nice people that's my personal experience till date look at this all markings and uh, graffiti on the ground on the floor now we are entering the darkest place ever so one in sensor you gotta do your job and show us some uh, something on these paths like don't be just pitch dark it is darkest place ever these places at night time are super dangerous super dangerous i have shared my location on an euc community group and uh, they are aware of me uh, being out look at this turn look at this turn and look at this these bushes so dangerous and i haven't found a soul a single soul on this path still haven't found a single soul nobody comes out here doing it for you guys so you guys can enjoy looking at this video and uh, yeah and i'm kind of selfish as well i like to do these things too i'll be honest adventure i got my pepper spray with me right here i got a three inch knife i hope i never i hope i never ever ever have to use any of those oh look rabbit Ooh, he's trying to play with me trying to play with me dude He's trying to play with me. Rabbits are nice. Like they, he went like this and then again this and again that this way to tease me. Little rabbit, if you come under my Master Pro, you will be squished. Don't do that. I won't even feel anything. The Master Pro is so heavy. This bridge has always amazed me. A lot of things happens after this bridge. Just pay attention to all the graffiti on the ground, gang logos and gang signs. And when we go through this overpass bridge, pay attention to that. I'm not gonna stop, I'm just gonna go straight. Uh, I hope nobody's there. A lot of people sleep, hang out, and do their, their G's. Look at this. Look at the state of this footpath. Somebody crushed these uh, barriers. You don't wanna stop. Keep going. So now we are approaching to a patch where I personally always been scared of coming at night. I only been here a couple of times, and I think I'll have to hide my camera and put it in a stealth mode. So do not get attention by people and i hope i can't even use my external camera because it's gonna get unnecessary attention and i'm just gonna pass through this I will not stop even if somebody calls my name. 
for real. <laughs> Wow, it's late at night, it is cold today, it's like London-like weather, a late night and we are on our adventure, I found someone, I found someone walking down. That was a lady, what is this lady doing in the dark? in a pitch black quiet path wow she is brave she is brave this this particular area is really dangerous scary a lot of rough sleepers rough uh, homeless people low life rough life people on this uh, particular area It is really uh, dangerous to be here on your electric unicycle car is safe. Popo just arrived. Really, really dangerous place. These popos fighting for peace and uh, the front line. <laughs> In this particular area, when you see popo, I kind of feel good. Not all the time this feeling comes. But today, when I saw popo, <laughs> I feel good and safe. Wow. Look at all those shops. Everything is shut. Everything is shut. It's late night and only idiots like us are out there. Uh, wow. One thing I would like to say, if you like to watch these kind of videos, please express your feelings and hit like button. Consider to subscribe because these videos are not easy to make. You take risk. You put yourself out. Oh, look at that. Christmas light yeah and uh, your your like button and consideration for subscription uh, gonna give me boost a motivation to make more and more videos like these ones we're heading to another really dodgy area yeah I was saying that on your electric unicycle this makes it more dangerous because you are vulnerable anybody can just come in front of you and you'll have to be you'll be forced to stop and in car you will be safe but it's more fun when you open on your electric unicycle two things it's better than bicycle uh, as well because you can go into those back alleys and back paths underground under the bridges you can't go there with, in your car and these videos takes a lot of effort and courage and uh, uh, you need balls basically because in, when you watch those uh, documentaries on um, big TV channels, they have backup, they have backup. Like they have uh, uh, some securities on standby at all times if anything happens. I'm on my own. Like I said before, if I had another rider who likes to do these kind of adventures, then it will be two of us, we can uh, help each other out. If one is in a situation, other can go get some help. So these videos are not easy. One inch sensor camera, 360 camera with one inch sensor for low light situations. But the places I have, I'm going in, going through, going to and been to, they're so dark that I don't think even one inch sensor matters. So this place we are going to right now is Canal. 
very very scary canal pitch dark this canal is so dangerous can't tell you when i enter this canal oh my god at night time let me tell you one of our euc electric unicycle rider at daytime got threatened by someone on the canal they said i'm gonna shoot you and kill you at daytime so that is the canal we are going to okay ladies and gentlemen this is the canal and i am a little bit scared to go in it's pitch dark street light is gone these are really dangerous like i said if you get murdered murdered here nobody gonna find your body for a good 24 hours or 12 hours minimum another one again pitch dark no street light to be honest if there is nobody here it's a little bit better because those uh, drug addict people they are unpredictable another underpass i hope this one this one has some light yeah this one has it so that means if there is light there is chance of some people and it's late night luckily nobody is here in this particular underpass gps signal lost even, <laughs> even gps signal is lost another underpass is coming and this one looks dark too i don't know what to say like i should pray for underpass being dark or damn it's lit it's lit wow luckily nobody here again look at this graffiti on the on the walls and another one i can see there is someone in there i hope he does not attack us because at this time of the night they're fully high keep going wow there's water on our left hand side constantly running with us don't know if camera can catch it i have that uh, high power torch i don't want to upset people on the canal paths a lot of homeless and people uh, they have their houses that <laughs> their tents see so I don't want to upset anyone. There's a big flood canal on the right hand side and there's a big proper canal with actually water in it on our left hand side. And we are right in the middle. And there's another canal underpass. Wow, this one has people in it. This one is the most most dangerous one <laughs> so far the most dangerous most scary underpass of this midnight so far wow look at this what we found we found ourselves 
a fun fair, playland, dream world, theme park, whatever you like to call it. We found ourselves. Wow, look at this. There's a middle flood flood uh, canal in the middle, and on this side, scary underpasses. I'm entering to another one. Wow, well, I want to lower my camera and put it on stealth mode because. Look at the lighting. Look at the lighting. It is so scary, man. <laughs> wow. Let's burn our torch and see how it feels. Oh! <laughs> so, one of my mate, fellow rider, says, Nick says, you got sun in your pocket, yeah? I got sun in my pocket. Let's light up my sun and see how it looks. Ooh. <laughs> it's 25,000 lumens. Okay, this one always have a lot of people in it. Wow, this one is the most dangerous so far. Wow, I take my bad words back about the previous one. This one was full of people, full of people. Damn, Daniel. Man, look at this so many needles so many uh, those things that people use for drugs foil paper needles mm -hmm. 